Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, many thanks, uh, Professor Zhuang's invitation. Um, today, uh, it's my honor uh, to introduce uh, the uh, the CubeSat program uh, status uh, in TASA. And so my topic is a new approach for promoting the CubeSat uh, market in Taiwan. Uh, so um, you can see the slide. Uh, it's a trend of the satellite development starting from 1957. Uh, and the blue one is the non-commercial satellite. That means those satellites are supported uh, by the government and not for the commercial purpose. And so in the past, uh, I should say uh, maybe um, 40 years, uh, most of the satellites in space, they are uh, funded by the government and not uh, for the commercial purpose. But uh, starting from 90, uh, 90, uh, 95, and you can see the, uh, the yellow color, that's the commercial one. Uh, that's commercial satellite uh, by the private company. They become more and more. And uh, in recent years, and this one become the dominant one. And so the, the satellite uh, industry trend is from the non-commercial one to the commercial. Okay, and uh, you can see um, the, the main reason is uh, in the past, uh, I, I should say uh, in the early stage, most of the satellite mission, that's only single satellite and in each mission. But uh, recently, uh, you can see there are more and more uh, constellation application, like the Starlink, like the OneWeb. And so in each constellation, there are a lot of satellite and it become a trend. And the reason why uh, is the application. Uh, because for the communication purpose, uh, especially in the Leo orbit, uh, the communication satellite, uh, we cannot just provide one or two satellites to do the communication uh, service. And uh, uh, for the remote sensing, um, in the early stage, maybe one or two satellites, they can provide the, the good image, maybe uh, one week. Uh, one photo or, or two uh, two days, one photo. But recently, the customer, they would like to have more and more pictures in the near real time. That means uh, just in one day, maybe they need to take the image every hours. So uh, the constellation become a trend. And also you can see um, this one is the trend of the remote sensing satellite the mass, the vertical axis is the mass. And in the early stage, um, most of the EO satellite, they are huge. They, they are very heavy. But recently, uh, the, you can see the, in the right corner, uh, they, they, that's uh, belong to the CubeSat level. And CubeSat level uh, satellite, they can provide uh, uh, good uh, service in the past decade. So it become a trend. And uh, the reason why uh, the CubeSat uh, played the uh, important role recently, the first one is cheaper. Yeah, because the, the, the price to develop the CubeSat it, and also the launch cost is lower and it's also faster and it's easy to deploy the constellation of CubeSat in a quite a short period. But uh, uh, it's easier, not really, um, because the, the CubeSat, the whole process to develop the CubeSat is the same as the traditional one. Uh, it's like the Chinese Ocean, uh, 
the sparrow, although the sparrow is small, but uh, it has all the vital organs. That means the cubesat, although the cubesat is small, uh, but uh, it has all the functions like the big one, and it need to go through the same process. So uh, it's not so easier. And in uh, 2017, uh, we got the uh, uh, program uh, from our government, uh, and uh, we would like to uh, build a sustainable uh, Taiwanese space industry. And so that we call that uh, initiative QSAP program. And in this program, it's a five years program, we have three uh, uh, QSAP. And uh, one is uh, 3U idea set, and the other one is 2U not set, and 1.5U U set. And so uh, after five years, we, we uh, launch this three cube set in space. And uh, we also have three teams, cube set teams uh, um, in this period. So from educational point of view, uh, it's very good. We have very good achievement because they got the very good uh, and very valuable lessons learned uh, during the process. And they also have the follow-on mission, follow-on activity uh, after that uh, program. But uh, from commercial point of view, um, the local space industry was not changed too much. So we are thinking about why uh, we cannot achieve our original goal. And so um, this one, uh, you can see it's a statistic data uh, of the CubeSat mission. The, uh, in the figure, the left-hand side is uh, uh, educational uh, missions. So you can see more than 80% uh, mission, uh, they are successful. And in the middle one, it's a technology demonstration purpose. And you can see if we want to treat it as a full success, it's about 40%. So it's maybe half of the uh, success rate and uh, to the educational one. And the right-hand side is uh, from operational point of view. That means we would like to treat this uh, mission as a service, the real uh, service. And so the successful rate is lower. And why they are so different? Because from different uh, point of view, uh, from different kind of mission, they have different requirements. For example, like the educational purpose, then it's a good to train the students, train the uh, engineer to go through the process, even though uh, the final uh, setup cannot function 100% uh, performance, but all the team, they learn everything during the process. But from operational point of view, and this one, the requirement is from the customer. So they would like to have the, the, the service as their uh, original brand. If they cannot meet that kind of requirement, they don't treat that as a successful mission. So um, uh, we are thinking about, so uh, uh, if we want to start a new program to promote the local space industry, what we can do. And we are thinking about uh, from product point of view, the first one is the satellite component. Uh, in Taiwan, we have many uh, good uh, companies. They have very good domain knowledge to develop the components for the commercial one, for the uh, electronics, mechanical, or the optical one. Uh, we have very good ecosystem in Taiwan. And um, so it's not so difficult for them 
if we want to train them to develop the space product, the uh, space component. But however, uh, if they uh, complete that kind of uh, component development, and then uh, we need to find a platform for the flight demonstration of this satellite component. And it's a challenge uh, because the component, they cannot fly alone. They need to be installed on a bus platform. And so uh, if they cannot find a bus platform, they cannot verify their components. And so uh, this one is one challenge. And the other one is um, there are many components, I should say many of component vendor uh, all over the world. They have, they can provide the fried proven one and they have very good fry heritage. So it's very difficult to, uh, if we create, if we build a new component and if we want to, this one to be competitive with the other one, then it should have special features and or they have, should have very good performance. Otherwise, uh, the, the, the users, they, they would like to use uh, the component with good uh, fry heritage. Yeah. And the other one is if we treat the satellite system as a product, then we find um, it's a challenge for uh, for the local company, I should say, because in Taiwan in the past decades, uh, there we didn't have the uh, private company. They developed the whole satellite systems, so it's a very challenge work. However, if they can do that, if they develop a, a satellite, uh, then we can find a flight demonstration, the launch opportunity for that. And so it's, uh, it's possible. Uh, and, but uh, also, uh, it will face the same issues as the uh, component. Uh, there are many uh, mature, uh, the uh, CubeSat uh, system companies in the world. So, um, unless they can provide some uh, special function or special performance satellite system. So uh, otherwise, if they want to just sell the uh, system as a product, it's not easy. And the third one is the service, satellite service. And, uh, but from the customer, uh, from customer point of view, uh, they would like to have a uh, uh, stable one, stable service and valuable service. And so if we want to do that, uh, the constellation of satellite is important um, because uh, uh, if we have uh, a fleet uh, constellation to, of satellite, then we can provide the uh, service uh, more frequently and to, uh, and so from that kind of point of view, CubeSat is a good choice for that because if we want to do the constellation of small set or micro set, then the cost is huge, but CubeSat it's uh, affordable. And uh, last year, uh, uh, we got the funding from our government, uh, from National Science and Technology Council to, uh, to start the Pathfinder of the Startup CubeSat program. And uh, it's, uh, I should say, it's a two years uh, program, but it covered from uh, 2022 to 2024. And there are three, uh, two, there are two uh, CubeSat, 3U CubeSat. One is for the communication mission and the other one is for the remote sensing uh, missions. And they are going to be launched in the middle of 2024. And it's a feasibility study of our uh, startup CubeSat program. 
And uh, last year, uh, when we have two um, new teams for the CubeSat assistant, we found uh, the, uh, we have been asked so many questions uh, from, the, uh, from the mission analysis point of view or satellite design point of view or hardware manufacture or, and testing and uh, launch flight operation uh, activities. And so there are a lot of questions. And so um, the, the, the major one is um, most of the uh, private, I should say most of the uh, companies because uh, they have, uh, I should say, uh, they are familiar with the the uh, the uh, industry standards, yeah. But but they are not so familiar with uh, space uh, uh, standards. So uh, we need to put some effort, uh, try to uh, get the rule, uh, try to uh, then. Um, get familiar with the standard to how to go through the system engineering. And uh, also uh, for the, uh, from, for example, like the, from uh, how a manufacturer point of view, uh, the material selection and the, uh, the, the manufacturer process, they, they have some spec, they have some requirement and, uh, they need to be, uh, uh, they need to learn about that. Yeah. And also we will face a risk assessment issue that's uh, like the cost is the driver of the program and schedule is another one, but the, the technical performance is also an important one. So how to do the trade-off among these uh, constraints. So it, it's a quite a challenge, especially for the new player. And uh, this year, uh, uh, the, our government, the National Science and Technology Council, they, uh, they uh, approve our, uh, the formal uh, STOP uh, QSAP program. And it's a 10 years program. And uh, this program is like, uh, 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 it plays the role of a space stop incubator in Taiwan. And uh, because we try to, um, we try to uh, choose some uh, company, local company, and to train, uh, then uh, go through the, the whole process. And we would like to have some space startup after the, uh, when they finish their programs. Yeah. And the first phase uh, is uh, three years. And uh, in these three years, we have three uh, missions, one for the high-speed uh, communication, and another one is IoT and uh, the remote sensing missions. And so um, in each mission, uh, in each project, uh, we are going to have four, uh, six U CubeSat, or even larger one is a AU CubeSat. And because uh, it's a fried demonstration of the concept, so uh, we would like to have more CubeSat to provide a better service. And the, the, for each project, uh, the budget will cover the whole process from the uh, satellite design, manufacture, testing, launch, and fry operation. And so uh, when we review their proposal, uh, we, we need to verify that uh, that should be technically uh, feasible and they ha should have a good uh, bi business model. That the good means uh, it should be sustainable. That means after this project, when they complete this project, they should, they should have their follow on activity. Yeah. And so um, it's like this figure. Um, so the 
uh, in the beginning, I said that we try to have a different kind of approach. Is in our previous program, you can see uh, we invest the the budget in the early stage uh, of this profile. That means they are in the research stage. They are in the early development phase, and so um the uh, the cost is lower, but after that, they they still have a long way to go. If we like, uh, and right now we would like to invest the budget in the the uh, yellow one. Uh, that means uh, the the company they should have some um, they should have some uh, the the uh, capability uh, with good uh, uh, commercialize um, the big business model. And uh, so um, when they uh, to propose their proposal, they need to know uh, who are their customers and who is their uh, future potential market, where is their potential market. And so um, our budget is try to go through uh, the process to verify their concept, to proof of uh, concept. And so that's the main difference between the current program and previous one. And so um, in the meantime, we also would will reserve uh, six uh, to you space uh, in the first phase of this program for flight demonstration of the new components or new payload developed in Taiwan, uh, because we would like to have more and more local uh, space product in Taiwan. Okay, that's my last uh, space, last page. Uh, so um, we got the lessons learned uh, from our previous program. Uh, so we propose a different approach now, and then. For the new program, the uh, STOP QSAP program, it played the role of a space stop incubator in Taiwan. And we are going to have three uh, missions uh, in the first phase of this program. And so uh, it's from uh, this year to 2026. And we are going to launch uh, uh, 12 6U CubeSat uh, in this phase for the flight demonstration. And we would like to realize uh, the business model of this company in the near future. Okay, so that's my presentation. Thank you. Thank you.